C.3, pagination, coding, and testing. Yeah. Because in C.2, uh, after I explained all the main parts of pagination already, we used a lot of time, 20-something yeah. minutes, very close to 30 minutes. So I have to stop. Uh, and uh, we use uh, our third video, C.3, to complete the remaining part. Yeah. First, we need to change, we need to modify, you know, uh, update uh, the code to add this new feature. Second, we need to do some testing. Yeah. Before we do that, first, I want to talk about, uh, you know, something related to uh, these two parts. Uh, first, the coding part. I will, I attach, I upload a coding instruction file. Okay, yeah. so the instruction file I associate with with the corresponding part, the corresponding. So here, the C point two part C point two. So that's the main coding explanation part. So, uh, so instruction instructions. Uh, I upload the file, so from the file name, you can get the information, uh, C.2, yeah, C. Point, project to C2, yeah, instruct.txt, yeah, so this is the instruction file, all right, so right under C.2, par C.2, the, you know, PDF annotation file. So you can download this instruction file. All right. Later, for other instructions, I will put it right below the PDF file of that part. Yeah, so you can find it easily. All right. So that's the coding part. Then the testing part. Yeah, because after we update the code, we want to see the result if it works. Okay, yeah. All right. To do testing, we want to do fast, easy testing. So we don't want to do something very complicated. So basically, we want to do fast and easy, uh, easy testing. All right, yeah. So here we have a simple testing. All right, because the pagination basically we use one parameter to control the pagination. So one parameter to control the page, so that the PG parameter. If we change the value of this parameter, then we can change to different pages. We will see the result of data for different pages. So that's all we need to do. Yeah. All right. So how to change very easy uh, in in the URL bar of the web browser. All right. Yeah. So we do change like this. Yeah. Remember our served URL pattern list math, right? Yeah. This is our served URL pattern list math served Java class 
we'll use this URL pattern. All right. So after that, the question mark to separate URL part and the query parameter part, query string part. We call it query string, right? Yeah. The part after the question mark, we call it query string. All right. Yeah. So that's the URL part. All right. So this part, PG equals page number. You want to pass to it. For example, three. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Then you hit enter. You should see the result. And you can check if it's correct or not. The questions displayed on that page. Yeah. So you look at the question numbers and you want to see if it is correct. Right. All right. So let us do that in Eclipse. In Eclipse, all right, yeah, so this is the previous uh, testing we have. Uh, before I do the coding, I want to stop the server. Yeah, because in that way, uh, it will be better, yeah, because when we modify the code, we don't want the server doing updating, yeah. Sometimes the server has the feature automatic updating. Yeah. Although sometimes it is convenient, but it could have some problem sometimes. So we want to stop it. So when we do code change, we want our server completely stop. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So which part? The you are uh, the DAO first, right? Problem DAO first. In the problem DAO, first we only change. Remember results, right? Yes. Although I can copy the code, right? Yeah. So if you like, we can copy the code. Yeah. But here you can see the code part. Yeah. Look at this instruction. The code part. We only need to add the limit part, right? Yes. Although, if you like, you can change, you know, the whole statement. Yeah. But here, I just insert that limit question mark, comma, question mark. And in order to make the testing easier, I like to remove this descending order. By default, we use the ascending order. In that way, we can see the page result much better, right? Yeah. So that's the first place change query statement. The second place now we need to add a new query method, completely new query method. So here we just copy from the instruction file. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Because that's the fastest way. After we understand everything, yeah, that is the fastest way to do the change. All right. Okay. Yeah. So everything looks all right. We save this file so we complete the DAO updating part. What's next? After that, servlet, right? In the servlet, the parameter, we need to process the page parameter. Yeah. So let us modify list math servlet file, the do get method. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So here, the main part we need to do updating. 
look at this slide list because this version look at this this version all the problem data right yeah how about we change it to the current version all right okay yeah probably dot all right and we need a page yeah. page yeah. pg all right yeah but uh how to get a page value so here this pg variable value we need to we need to do the you know yeah so this part get the page parameter yes we need this part yeah, the whole thing yeah before we use that parameter value right yeah see yeah all right so we understand the meaning from the previous video c.2 okay yeah so that's all we need to do all right these two files how about the third file list.jsp do we need to do anything there list.jsp no we don't need to do anything right yeah, yeah. list.jsp yeah because the data generated from the servlet will be displayed in that page okay so we, we don't need to do anything special there now we can test it run this project finish all right so now you see the result right we expect to see you know one page result but there is one thing uh, in our in-person class we already we saw this kind of thing why the first page we see 107 109 then 1234 looks normal so we need to fix these three questions the answer is very simple the answer is order underscore non field value these three if you go back to check the database the data they use the order zero then based on the order so definitely these three questions will be listed higher than order one order two order three so that's the main problem we can fix it if we go to the table to change the value of the order number then we will fix it all right but in class i did that change if some of you still remember what i did in the in-person class it didn't work at that time right yeah later i figure out the problem because I changed the data in the wrong database. Remember, I didn't use my original database. Remember, in order to show you how do I create database, populate the data, I use a new database, right? Then I changed the order number in a new database, but this example, we use the old database. That's the reason that's the reason when I changed the order number we didn't see the change result on the page but here we can fix it based on this understanding yeah. based on the logic the better understanding we have here we can fix it so let us fix that problem first so let me br bring up the web browser the PHP my admin so we need to go to the database part yeah all right here uh, all right yeah 
now we are here yeah. problem yeah db this is the right one yeah look at math prob db but i have version one version two right but the current web web application connects to this one without the number number one number two yeah let's go back and check the our server it look at the database name what is the data oh not a server dao yeah dao all right the database name math prob db right yeah so we should go to the right database yeah this is the right one okay no one no two yeah then we get to the last a few look at zero here right yeah the reason is these three zero older number that's different from yeah here yeah but the reason why the id number and the older number different the reason i explained it before because the reason is id can never change as soon as the question row is created in the table we should not change id anymore always fixed all right always fixed otherwise we we can mess up we can mess up a lot of things so as a as a rule of thumb never change the id after the data item is created all right but the older number we can change right yeah sometimes when you manage maintain a math question bank sometimes we like to change the order number for convenience right yeah so that feature is useful for our users yeah how to control the order numbers so we create a, another different field uh, order number field completely separated from the primary key id number then we are free we can change whatever the order we like all right yeah so here let's just do the change 107 the first one this we treat as the initial order later we may have the feature we can change the order number all right yeah so that's a possible feature we may add later yeah 108 and 109 all right then after that we update these three rows all right but the most important thing when we go back to the eclipse the testing browser let us refresh the page this time you see everything is normal right yeah those three questions we put it at the end of the end of the you know all pages yeah all right so next testing different pages the questions in different pages using the way i talk about before page value equal let me put the value four how about that oh yeah remove the first equal yeah that that's wrong so page name first equal sign then the page value click press enter yes this is page four is it c correct yeah it is perfect right yeah the display number perfect yeah let me display the last page yeah 11 that's the last page right yeah, yeah. enter now that's the last page and then you see the last three questions also there yeah it's pretty normal yeah all right but here we we do we do testing using this manually manually modified parameter values yeah but in the real world application we don't want we don't want our user change the page in this way right 
So we need to provide our users convenient features for pagination. So that's the navigation feature, right? So we need to provide our user the navigation feature. All right, so let me stop video C.3 right here.